some were aspiring artists, teenage students of Ryman Arts, a nonprofit arts program that offers free weekend classes. Others were out for a day in the park and were asked to join in. The scroll stretched through a rose garden that links several Los Angeles museums. Diane Brigham of Ryman Arts says the event shows that everyone can contribute to the arts. And that's really part of what we're trying to say with the Big Draw LA is that whether you think you can draw like our teens or you think you can't, there's a place for you in making art. Students hope to draw on this scroll what they see around them. Emily Etzel is sketching rose bushes. So what we're hoping for is if you draw what's in front of you by the time it's done and we hook everything up together, it's going to be like a long view as if you're like walking by. The project brings aspiring artists and others together to work on the same picture. Art student Claire Astro says that's why it's exciting. We were all participating in doing these vines and everything, and I just felt like we were just one big artist. There's like so many of us, but we're all participating and doing our own thing. It's really cool. Sophia Zarders loves to share her love of art with other people. Drawing is my passion, so this event is really awesome and amazing. Carrie Zarders is Sophia's mom. I just think that community events are so important and I believe that art is so important and when you put the two of them together it just makes my heart happy. The big draw began in Britain 11 years ago. This is its second year in Los Angeles. These young artists say they'll be back for the big draw for the third time next year. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.